it's uh, wonderful to see uh, lots of uh, our, our old crew uh, in the chat. It's um, it suddenly uh, hits us that it's uh, fall. I have a couple of announcements to make. We uh, have started a new setup with uh, Ustream. We're uh, doing a Ustream on the first Wednesday of the month. And we're... Um, now it's too loud. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I can't help. <laughs> Easing everyone. Okay. Sorry, all that is calling me. Okay, now I'm too loud. Okay, yeah, first people were saying not loud, now it's too loud. Okay. Is this better? Okay, we'll start again. Okay, I hope this is better. Let's start again. Okay, on um, on the Wednesday evenings, the first mo month, the first Wednesday of the month, we'll do our flying unicorn you stream, and we're going with a theme uh, every month. This month we're doing a fall Halloween theme. Not everybody likes uh, a Halloween, so I've chosen a. Uh, a mixture of both uh, because pumpkins can either be uh, uh, fall or Halloween you, you can choose to do whatever you prefer and um, next month we'll be going with uh, Thanksgiving fall uh, and we'll, we'll go from there um, we're uh, working with uh, a bundle right uh, now and um, Alda has picked a wonderful uh, collection and I'll, I'll move the, the papers. They're graphic 45 papers. And some cardstock. Of course, you see weird little gaps, but instead of uh, me uh, fussy cutting everything during the show. I've pre-cut everything for you. And um, these are the papers. We have some glitter paint and we have some mist, some ribbon. This is not the actual ribbon. I, I had the ribbon, but my cat um, stole the ribbon that actually went with the kid. I used the, the, the first piece on, on the, the projects I made and then the second part that was supposed to be used today, the cat uh, stole it and I, I think he hid it somewhere. So I, I had to use some of my own. Then we have some wonderful uh, metalware, some banners, some petite uh, words, we have three bunches of flowers. This is the third one. I already sprayed some, so I used the spray already to go with that. So we have a lot of stuff, and the bundle is $20, and it has free shipping with that. So that's a wonderful uh, bargain. And I made three uh, different um, projects with that, and I still have left over, so you can uh, pretty much get more out of this. Um, so it's a pretty good deal. Uh, I don't know if they're still left over because uh, I think they sold already uh, a few of them. So hopefully um, there's still some left if you uh, if you're interested in getting one. So, but let's get the, this party started. There's only a, a couple of things that you uh, need extra to do these projects, and that's uh, black gesso. A, a little frame from Michael's and a poster board, you know, like the kids use for uh, class projects and stuff like that, which is basically another little frame that I uh, I made 
for, by myself because it, it's nice and handy. You don't always want to buy pre-made uh, uh, frames. So I cut out a six by eight piece and I made a cut four inches long, about two and a half inches from the side, but I didn't go all the way through. So you get this little stand, you cut a little stand. I went half an inch in and then on the diagonal, I cut through and through. So you get that little Hi, Vida. Good to see you. Yes, I'm so excited about next week. And Diva, good to see you too. So this is basically how we make our own cheap uh, frame, um, especially when you uh, make something for a, uh, a you know, a short uh, time that you want to display and store away for the rest of the year. And you, you don't want to use a frame that... Uh, costs a lot of money this way you you have a temporary frame and you can just pack it away for the rest of the year and it basically costs you nothing you buy a big sheet for a dollar from the dollar shore store and you're all set up to go so let's get started with our project so this is it pre-made the only thing i did was uh, st stuck some extra sticky tape on, on the on the seam here in case case you you fold it back and forth too much or if you did make a you cut it too far but but this is basically your uh, your little fan so there we go so six by eight I wrote it on there so people can actually see it and uh, so that means a piece of black paper here, here's my black cardstock see I pre-cut everything. So it's kind of easy to, uh, so I peel off my six by eight black cardstock. It's like a puzzle. Everything is hopefully, and hopefully uh, the show will not uh, be too uh, boring because I, I have it all pre-done. If there are questions, please. And yeah, you can use cardboard too. Uh, it, it makes it, uh, an easy and, and cheap way to um, to make things. Making sure that you're actually using the right side <laughs> so you can open it. So I uh, <clears throat> have my example here and I have to make sure that I'm following the right things. I just loved the paper when it came out and I used to uh, use this uh, before it all combines so nice and neat it's basically making a mat on on top of other uh, mats I have the the moon paper it's called wicked something I cut that into a um, uh, five by seven inch piece so I stuck that on there Black piece. Here I have my, my pumpkin paper. So because we know we have to cut out the, the pumpkins and we have one sheet of paper. Oh, it was that way around. And we want to have an inter interesting piece of paper, uh, interesting piece that is our background. We want to have some bats and we want to have, we want to make sure that our pumpkin is sticking out here and there. We always also want to make sure that the ones that we want to have on top as our second layer, we can still cut out. So we want to make sure that we, we have a full pumpkin that we can put, um, cut out and we have plenty of other pumpkins left for our second layer. So I chose this corner to cut out my um, 
my base piece, and that piece is um, four by um, or three three quarters by five three quarter inch because of my uh, my black uh, uh, piece that that's my matte piece. Oh, I can't even speak English anymore. That always happens when I do my Ustream. But see how that looks nice when you frame it. So we'll put that there. Yeah, the, the graphic 45 papers are wonderful for fussy cutting. And you can pretty much use um, your whole evening for for doing all of that because it, it takes a while but it's really well worth it when you have a project like that it just makes it stand out a lot <laughs> you had to tease me right so here are my fussy cut pieces. I was also smart to get a new glue bottle so we wouldn't have to uh, take a long time getting the glue out of the bottom of a bottle. There we go. Some of them I put some paper under there and some it just looks nice if it's just the second layer. Because I'm putting extra flowers here, I moved this one a little bit over because otherwise it was too much stuck under the flowers. But it's like it's like an extra shadow now. It works out fine. Before I put the flowers on, I will get the, the metal. I like that as a, as a extra detail around the, the mat. So I'll just measure. That's something I didn't do. I didn't measure it. Oops. So you measure your chain. And then I do try to not do too much glue around the edge. It helps when you're not shaking too much. Or put your hands in it. Make sure to put your finger on the end so you don't pull it off all those little tricks that seem quite normal but when you're working with it you find that 
you might pull the whole thing loose again if you don't. And then the next corner, keep your finger on the corner. Next corner and twist them so they're all nice and lined up. We don't want any twists in the chain. Sounds like a song. Guess I cut it a little too long. That can hide under my pumpkin. See, that adds a nice little detail. So there we go. That's our chain. So now we have our, our flowers. Because I, I like the whole uh, black and white and orange theme, I already uh, sprayed uh, one of these flowers with black. It just looks nice. Put in the corner there. And I just love these orange little velvety flowers. It just gives it a nice look. And to offset the whole theme of that, I cut three of these off. And I twisted them. I don't know, it's always nice to work in threes. We can tuck those under there. So from the other one, other set of flowers, I actually stole one of the big leaves. On, on, the, on the card, I actually took this whole flower arrangement apart and um, um, Uh, how do you say that? I made it into a whole new arrangement. So it's easy to just take one leaf away and stick it in the back and one of the twisty uh, things. So we're already going quite well with this uh, decoration item. So for now, even it, it's just a full decoration. It all depends on what you put on the, on the tag, on the little banner, which is next. That will depend on, on if it's a Halloween or, or a full uh, decoration. And mine, the, the one I made, of course, now it's up here, but I, I just have that in between my pumpkins and uh, and that can stay out all, uh, all autumn until I switch over for my Christmas uh, decorations. So, so we have our, um, our little banner. And they are already sticky. 
but just to make sure I'll just always glue a little bit extra on there so we can choose you know to to not do Halloween we can choose the cutest little pumpkin which is on this sheet right there so we throw the whole Halloween thing out of there and just say the cutest little pumpkin so this can stay up for the whole fall thing as a final um, feature I dec I decorated uh, the the pumpkins or balloons, whatever you want to call them, with uh, a little bit of the glitter paint and some of the flower stems. And I did that a little bit through the the chain as well. It's it shows up really nice on the photo it's just those little details that that finishes off a project really nicely There we go, and, and like here on the green, especially if, if you have it close to your TV at night, just that little bit of extra bling, if you like bling, and I mean, this is my project, and if people see my projects, they know I like bling, or glitter, I shouldn't say bling. Try to do it nice and neat so I don't have to wipe away any spills. There we go. I hope you can see it on the on the monitor. Okay, somebody else loves bling. Okay, good. Um, just need to tie a little bow. I forgot my little bow. Here we go little bunny ears <laughs> yes Barbara hi good to see you thanks for joining in and Shauna thank you it's wonderful to see you all here tonight thank you for uh, joining us at Flying Unicorn See, there we have a nice little bow. Of course, it helps if you get your fingers out of there. Okay, there we go. Stay there. Oh, I can teach you next week at camp. 
we, sh we should make sure we have some uh, ribbon with us and then we can uh, do that a couple of times. Okay. So this is our first project of the evening. So I hope you liked it. Of course, I glued some of the stuff there. Okay, now it works. So here, it stands up. As you can see, you know, how I make the little stand. So there you go. First project all done. So now we're going to our next project. Onto our card, our October card. And we all have, well, we all probably have people who have a birthday in October. So I thought it would look nice to have a themed birthday card. And um, I just love those co uh, full colors. So I chose the, the beautiful paper and made it into a long card. So I cut it out in a uh, eight by nine and a quarter it's the frame is six by eight or eight by six whatever you call it so i cut out the paper eight by four a uh, nine and a quarter so i just fold it bone folder and I like the I like the idea of just using the same pattern on top of the same pattern I, I know it's, it's normally not really done but I, I thought it was kind of a nice idea so I have another piece of this paper and I just mat put a mat under it like that and put it on top so you get the whole same idea going you're repeating the same pattern on top of it but I, I felt it kind of worked So we, in, in our bundle, we have this wonderful sheet of all these tags and, and banners and these cute little uh, stamps. So there, there's an abundance of choices you can make um, or, you know, an abundance of choices to use in, in projects. So I love the fact that the October thing is here, so I chose October because it's a card for October. And we have these banners here with Halloween and Trick or Treat and Pumpkin Time. So one of them was up here, so I cut that one off. So I have three of the strips and I made them run along the whole card that way. But I'm following this whole theme of putting a mat under everything. So you have the pop of black coming through. Everything has a mat. I, I thought that looked cool. And um, so we're, we're putting a mat under everything. Under the banner, under the October. We're just keeping the whole theme going. I think when you start some, with something, then you just keep going with the same theme.
The nice thing is um, there's still so much left over after doing this card. There is still plenty left. The measurements of what the card? The card was uh, the card itself is a four by a nine and a quarter card. So your paper has to be eight by nine and a quarter. That's a, that's one of the card sizes that exist. So uh, this piece um, is three and a quarter by eight and a half. Yes. Is that the size you were after? So the other mats are basically based on, on whatever, you know, the, the the little picture is that you cut out from the, the sheet of paper. Uh, so whatever size that is, you know, you just have a, a little bit of uh, edge around your piece of paper. So the fun thing I did with this card, so we, we have the October going and I decided to let it go around the corner. So the pumpkin is on the back of the card. Uh, yeah, I think that this is this is a legal size. Um, yeah, I actually went online to uh, look at what is a a real size card because I I don't always know what is a real size card. With this, I met I looked at the October had to be in the center, and then. I actually cut off a piece and put and folded it under the other part. But the, uh, the the rest I actually folded over the around the back of the card because I I thought that was a neat looking idea. I mean, whenever you try to design a uh, a U stream or whenever you design anything, I think you try to go with whatever feels fun or, or right for yourself or what you think the person you are making it for would, would appreciate or like. And whenever I was doing this, it was like, oh, that's cute. The pumpkin is on the back. That, that looks fun. Well, I... I've made uh, tags this size and they're actually really fun. So when I was looking at uh, uh, this size, I thought, you know, this is actually quite cute. Oh no, there was already glue there. So we're we're going pretty good with the card so far. So we have the basics going for the card. I just need my flowers. So this is the cute little bundle of flowers, which I am now taking apart. Isn't that fun? We're taking flowers apart. I have to say, these are so cute. They're, they're fun little flowers. So it's like a bouquet. And like I like flower arranging as well at home. I make all my, they're fake flowers, mind you. I, I sometimes buy real flowers, but I also do fake flowers. And um, so I just, I just buy fake ones and I rearrange flowers and then I rearrange them again. Every year I make a different arrangement with the same flowers. So I decided to do the same thing with this. I started with the, the long ones. Here we go. We're starting from scratch. I just did them opposite each other and I, I twist them a little bit. 
because we're gonna twist them with the ribbon after we're done. We're just rebuilding a bouquet, so to speak, for this. People are thinking, what? What have we tuned into now? Is this is this a scrapbook event or are we in a flower arrangement uh, class? <laughs> I'm a serial killer. <laughs> yes. You learn something every day, Diva. You're never too old to learn. My husband's motto, actually, he says that all the time. But these are really cute little flowers. And because they're actually, you, th you think they're the same size, but they're actually not. So you have to make sure that you're, you're keeping, you're separating them into the different sizes, you know. Again, two little ones on either side, two big ones on either side. Okay, my, maybe I should have done this prior to the show as well, right? Oh, well, I'm saving a lot of time by not fussy cutting everything during the show. Ah, you're having fun, right? I hope you have anyway. Okay, the last one, we're there. And and because it's kind of messy in the middle, and of course, if I wasn't doing the Ustream, I would have done it a little bit neater. Obviously, I, I'll... I might need a little bit more. There we go. I hope I have enough now for my bow. Actually, what I did with the other one, I first just tied a A knot and then I made a separate one with a bow on there so we first have our our bow and now uh, one with the bow uh, knot See, this is taking longer than the rest. We're almost there. There we go. So here we have our little bow, which I can stick on there. So we have some extra ribbon. Okay, so we have our little two-sided bouquet from the other leftover flowers. I still have some white petals left leaf left I'm sorry so I stuck those in there
Okay, and then we can just find the right spot for our bouquet. There we go. So now I've got cut some of these from our paper. I told you I did save us some time doing all of that. So I, I might have spent extra time doing the flowers, but at least I saved us some time with the other stuff. So now I will tuck in some of the fussy cut flowers. And even, you know, a double layer, especially it, with the gears that looks like fun. So we have some extra dimension. For the bottom of our cart, we have a little stamp, and I would say, I think we have our cart done. We can adjust our little leaves here and there, but in general, I think our cart looks kind of cool. The nice thing is a big, and it's it's not too thick when you flatten it out. So I think this card is cute for October. So that's our second project all done. The third one is she hates it. Okay, I'm sorry, Barbara. <laughs> okay, the third one is kind of easy because we just need a little frame. And I mean, at uh, Michael's, they sell those little cute frames. And um, unfortunately, they didn't have that one anymore. So I found that one. I hope it will do the job. I just got some gesso because I wanted to repeat what what I was doing for that process. So, oops, not that much. It's called dry brushing. Not like go like a maniac. The frame itself is actually already quite cute. That one was really, really wide. It's just to bring out all the edgings. And this dries fairly quickly. I mean, you can go as, as wild as you like, but it's just to give you an idea 
especially with these cheap frames. Need gloves. And just a little bit. Of the sparkle. Just adding a little bit. Can you see the glitter? Especially on those little edges, it's a cool effect. You need to shake this uh, the whole time because <laughs> it sinks to the bottom. We're almost there. Okay, that's the frame. So I chose the little girl. Quite easy, you just cut her out and put her in the little frame. And then you just put some of the flowers on the edge of the frame. And a little cat to match a little cat in her hand. And a three little flowers okay stay there This one is simple. Here we go. Oops. Stay in screen. So these are quite simple. The last one is very simple. So we have three projects. With our bundle. And like I said, um, we still have this much left. Well, this paper is finished, but 
we, we have still plenty of paper left to do uh, another project, if you like. So we, we're pretty good with the bundle. And I didn't even use the, the, the cheesecloth. So you still have metal chain left. So you can let your imagination go wild for another project. I hope you enjoyed it. So for the next month, uh, I hope I gave you enough inspiration to try something uh, fall or um, Halloween-y. Um, next month on November the 7th, We'll have Heather doing a uh, Thustgiving or fall inspired Ustream. I want to thank you all for tuning in and um, I had a lot of fun doing these projects for you. Uh, thank you very much for um, supporting Flying Unicorn and um, I'll stay here for a little bit if you have any questions. I had a wonderful time. Thank you so much. You are all very wonderful. Thank you. Have a good night.